podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1051 for Monday, March 22nd, 2010. The Roadshow Presentation Timer. And now, get ready for Dick. It's Monday, a brand new day, a brand new week, and yes, indeed, a brand new uh, thing. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily gives with... It's kind of a whatchamacallit. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily gives with... I believe it's called the daily... It's the worse your life is. And a brand Some... new week and a brand new day. The better we sound. It's a it it's own gravy. The worse your life is. And a brand new day and a brand new day. The better we sound. The worse your life is. The better we sound. 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 And now, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Dickie D. Leo, pal, how are you? I'm great. I mean, I just came back from Austin, Texas, where the weather was warm. The people were warmer. I was. I just had a blast at South by Southwest. And oh, I you get- were amazing. I saw you being carried on the shoulders of humanity. Yeah, well, thirty five hundred cost to hire <laughs> that many people. It was a lot. A pretty penny, let me tell oh, you. Oh, I know. Dane said, Dick, no check this month. I said, mm. why? He said, did you see that Leo surfing? I said, oh, the fans, the adoration. He said, fans, adoration. Those were people that we hired. It was 20 bucks a shot. Oh, man. And and all the beer they could drink, which is why they were smiling. <laughs> yes, exactly. And fortunately, they didn't show the very end of the tape where you're actually naked when you come down at the end, they took your they shoes. They took everything. They everything. took everything, Dick. Everything. We had to edit that part out because it was. Oh yeah, that was. I think gross. that's really what made them happy was that they thought they could get they could steal everything I had. And they did. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know what? Some of your clothes. I saw Leo Laporte's actual pants on eBay for two dollars. <laughs> I, I no bids <laughs> yet, but I bet he gets more. I tried to tell the guy if you'd let me autograph it, you'll get more. Now, that was, it was... As he was running away. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, that, first of all, you're you're so nutty. I I keep that picture of you eating fire. Uh, oh, that was on fun. One of my computers because yeah. that's, that's a nutty thing to do. I, I don't mind. I would, like, I would like to body surf. I don't, I would worry about the getting started part. I mean, like... You, you know, how do you finally get up there? You didn't leap from the stage because no. you had all your equipment. Well, it wasn't so even that. I could have if I could have fallen backward probably, but there was a trough. You know, there was a moat. This let me tell you, Kevin Rose and Alex yes. Albrecht are rock stars. And there were th- those that's those people weren't there to see me. They were there to see Dignation, the, the the podcast that Kevin and Alex do. They were Alex and Kevin fans. Uh, they were kind to me, but but it, they were really there to see Alex. No, they were shouting, Leo, Leo. Yeah, but they didn't know I was going to be there. That's not what they were there for. They were there for uh, the live broadcast of that of that podcast. And they had, Alex and Kevin had security. There was a big bouncer guy. I was actually on the stage with a camera. And he said, Adam, he says, I got to watch them. Stay out of the way. I mean, this guy was not, it was, and they had a big trough between the crowd. The crowd couldn't come up to the stage. There was six feet between this crowd, end of the crowd and the beginning of the stage. Word. It was set up for, it was like Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. It was, this, these guys had, you know, top-notch security. Uh, and so in order for me to get to the audience, I had to climb down into the trough, cross it, and the alligators. Man, they were hungry. Oh, yeah. And then, well, they're and, known for that. Yeah. They're all over Austin. That's the one downside of going to Austin is mm. oh, man. the alligator they, yeah. population. They got yeah, one they shoe, but I got the other one back. Okay, good. And good. then, then, and then, and then, from there, I leapt into the audience. Uh, actually, I kind of backed up into. You know, it's kind of like remember how um, Lloyd Bridges would get into the water in uh, Sea Hunt. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he never dived in face first. He he well, fell you know, backwards over tanks. the boat. Yeah. yeah. You never studied scuba. That's how you do it. Well, it was, I basically was wearing this big old backpack. It was just like yeah, I had scuba were. gear yeah. on. So I did it just, I thought, Lloyd Bridges. what would Lloyd Bridges do? WWLBD. 
And I did it just like Lloyd did. And it worked perfectly because they gently buoyed me like the sea would have across wow. their hands for one minute and 14 seconds, bobbing up and down. And uh, yeah. and then depositing me gently <laughs> at the in back the trash of the barrel at, in the back at the, alley, way back of the way back of the uh, of the crowd, and then so I start running around back to the front because I think, well, I got to get back on stage to say, hey, that was great, and I get to the stage and I start running up and they say, no, no, you can't come on here. We're, we've moved on. <laughs> so wow. it wasn't like I it wasn't like I could bask in the glow yeah. of my new. Don't they know that you are Mister Internet? <laughs> Look what no, they look no. what I got though. Look what I got. I am now an official world record holder from the URDB. Wow. No, I am DB. No, you are DB. Uh, that's true. That is correct. I am Richard D. Bartolo. <laughs> Maybe that's what that stands for. You I are think it Dick is. D. Bartolo. <laughs> yes, exactly. <clears throat> wow. So what did that set you back? <laughs> Nothing. The guy came up to me. He was wearing a yellow jacket, and he's the. Oh, he's, that's official. He was the president of the URDB, and he says oh, so. we realized after you completed your crowd surf that you have in fact now got the world record for the longest live streaming crowd surf. Wow! I'll show you. There's even a page. Yeah, dedicated. yeah, yeah. So the, the URDB. Um. It's, it's kind of neat. It's just the, uh, the um, Universal Record Database. They're not competing with Guinness. They're, they're kind of an open source Guinness, Book of World Records. Okay. And so they make these, they, you know, they, 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 they certified it. The president was there. So here it is. Um, Leo well, so Laporte. you're on their website too. Yeah, the Universal well, Record well, Database. Well, well, See right well, here. Well. There's, there's me. Leo Laporte crowd surfed for one minute, 2.75 seconds. Oh, I guess it wasn't as long as I thought. While live streaming the entire feat on twit.tv, a world record. Now, to nice. beat the record, you must stream footage live to the internet while crowd surfing for more than one minute, 2.75 seconds. Unbelievable. So, uh, you know, if, if there were any doubts... Go there. Go there and look. <sighs> and that's the actual video, right? But it doesn't play? It plays. You want to see it? Have you yeah. seen the video? I saw it. This is our video, but there'll be other video, as you said. Yeah. And here I am, and there's Kevin and Alex egging me on, and then, and then I'm going out in the crowd. And as you'll see, once I'm in the crowd, they they hold me pretty well. There, there I am. <laughs> I'm actually floating at this point, and notice the camera and light never leave my face. I'm perfectly yes. lit. The entire. Oh, you really are. That is so. I'm fun. holding that staff and pointing it at myself. That's so funny. It was pretty fun. And see, now I wanted Leo, to show a little bit of the crowd. So. Are you going to go there next year? Yeah, but I can't. Well, maybe not. I probably shouldn't. Because I should. No, why? Leo. Yeah. Live fire eating. <laughs> while, while surfing. being body surf. Nobody could beat that. That guy, you better get that. That guy better be back there with another badge. I think so. Yeah. That was really <laughs> fun. It was really fun. I had I, I don't care if I got a world record or not. Oh, you know, we got a, an email this week. I, I should have mentioned it, that uh, people can see the video part of this on YouTube starting like a month or so ago. What? Of this episode of The Daily Gizwiz. Ends yes. up on YouTube. We yeah. started putting it on YouTube. On YouTube. So if you want to see this video, although I saw it on NBC, CBS, 2020, it's pretty much gotten everywhere. <laughs> 2020 really yeah i know I, leah's thinking wait a minute did, wait a minute. I, make, did I do that i might have done that it's on tivo it is on tivo i believe it's on tivo so if you go to youtube.com slash twit well you know what's happened is that uh we we were thinking well what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll we'll make them podcasts, but that's a lot of work and stuff. But uh, uh, and then once we'll make them video podcasts. But uh, but we realize well we're we're doing video anyway because all the editing is done in video anyway. So why not just put it up on uh, on our Twit site uh, on YouTube? So if you go to youtubecom slash twit, you'll see that there are a number of shows on here, including the Daily Gizwiz that aren't Perfect. that aren't yet video podcasts. Yeah, it's great. But you can it's still great. but you can still watch these. So if you if you don't you know we, we do it live on video uh every Tuesday. And our new time by the way is 2:30 Pacific, 5:30 Eastern. 
Um, and you can watch us do the shows. We do a week's worth of shows in, in one one setting. But now, if you miss that, you can, in fact, go to you know YouTube and watch it. And we do it in pretty high quality. I mean, it's a 480p, uh, you know, DVD right. quality. The high video. quality we're referring to resolution, not content. Or oh, the no, the content, content exactly. Content sucks. <laughs> So what oh, do you it says it right on the twit where the content sucks. We, we, oh, we, we, we apologize for the following show and the content <laughs> therein. So what do you got for us as a gadget today? Uh, I've, I've got a, a gadget I think you in particular will be interested in being the person you are, the lecturer you are, the keynote speaker that you are. Um, I was on the website of uh, American Innovative that made the clock we talked about last week called the uh, OK to Wake clock. Right. Where it turned green when it was OK for the kid to get out of bed. And I looked down and I, I saw this roadshow travel alarm. And I said, roadshow? And I looked down and it's an alarm clock for, it's a regular alarm clock that you take on the road and it's small. But Leo, it has a presentation mode where you set uh, the amount of time you have to speak for. Say you have to speak for six, I, I pick six minutes and I'll tell you why. Um, it divides the amount of time you have to talk to into six quadrants. When you start talking, you push a button and at one green LED lights up, it's hard to see in this light. And after one sixth of your time is gone, the next LED lights up and then the next one, and then they turn yellow, which means you're at the halfway point of your lecture, then another yellow. Oh, what a good idea. And then a red LED lights up to say you are in the last one sixth of your allotted time. So it's an easy way just to glance down and see where the LED is now and what color it is to know that you're, you're more than halfway through your lecture or... And the neat thing about it is... We should use that for the show because, frankly, these shows sometimes go on a little long. Well, I, we have to keep talking because it hasn't turned... Green. The other green hasn't turned. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> you set the four-hour uh, lecture limit. Yeah, I did. I, I did. I did. I should have set it for six minutes. Um, no, really, seriously, I would, is, that would be very useful for me. Yeah. Because I, yeah. I, I never really know how long we've gone. No, exactly. And what made me think about this for you was I remember a, a month or so ago you were saying, oh, my God, I have to do this thing. And I'm only allowed exactly well, five what minutes. was it? Yeah, five minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's yeah, right. You could have said you th this would have done green like every 50 seconds. So you would have known how close you were getting to the one minute. The neat thing about it is it is on sale for $19.99. Wow. And I emailed the company and I said, you know, I want to do this. Can you make sure that you keep the sale on for like another month or so? So people who uh, hear this can get in on the bargain. And the guy said, we can do that for you. So it is called the Roadshow Companion Travel Alarm and Presentation Timer. And it's at AmericanInnovative.com. And it's right on the opening of their uh, website. And you'll see that uh, it's the only one that is on sale right now. That's so really it's pretty cool. Neat. America, yeah, it's, it's, it's clever. And, and it's, a, it's, yeah, and it's a, a folded up. It's a really nice, slim travel clock. So there you go. With and also it. there's something else I like on travel clocks. It shows you the time of day and the alarm time all the time. Most travel clocks, you're not sure what, it, what the alarm time is set for. And unless you push a button... For it to come up, there it is. It's the roadshow road. presentation timer. Road, there it there is. It yeah. There it is. Wow, and that's pocket sized roadshow companion. This is and it's so cool. In its open position. I need this right now. <laughs> well, you can't have it. <laughs> can't and have it's it. on sale. And it's on sale. Dick, you you never cease to amaze. I try not to cease to amaze. You can so cease to far, amaze now because we're we're almost done. So. Oh, okay, good. Okay, because I was almost. <laughs> it's so funny. The red is blinking, which means I have forty seconds of amazement left. <laughs> <laughs> the amazement <laughs> countdown has begun. Three, two, one. <laughs> I 
I know. Here's a lot. <sighs> David Phillips writes. <laughs> you're Dick and Leo. <laughs> he never stops, does he? Uh, dear Dick and Leo, Leo has talked about his Twitter scale several times yes. and has mentioned that they say you shouldn't weigh yourself every day because your weight fluctuates a fair amount from day to no day. No kidding. Well, wait a minute. I'd like to bring to Leo's attention the hacker's diet at wikipedia.com. Mm -hmm. It provides a weight tracking chart with a, a weighted moving average. So your daily weight actually shows your true weight and the trend of that weight. A rolling average. You see, they say here that dieting is an engineering problem. The body is a system. Really? Yes. I thought it was just bones hung together. <laughs> John Walker, who's the founder of Autodesk, actually created this and, and did it in an electronic book uh, of the same name. Now, the thing is about it, uh, while I was in the chat room, I went there, and <laughs> maybe getting the same thing. It says, sorry, the hacker's diet checklist is temporarily down. Oh, great. Right. So, but the thing is, I wanted you to know about it before I forgot about it. Yeah. So. Wow, that's cool. Uh, but evidently, you look at your weight. I need and this. I, I, yeah. Yeah, and, and and it says, okay, if you weigh one sixty two, you really only weigh one forty five, and you could probably Colleen could Colleen could make one up for you. Well, this in is a good. And you very could, positive way. Yeah, this is good. Uh, the computer tools. Associated with my 1991 book, 1991 book, The Hacker's Diet, were originally developed as spreadsheets and macros for Microsoft Excel. He later released a version for the Palm OS. Well, I'm going to look into this. That's very so good. Not only gadgets that you can use, but even the letter you can use. Gadgets you can lose. Wait, <laughs> bye. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. No, that why things scale keeps me honest, because... Uh, I know that I'm going to have to check in. Now, when I was in Austin, uh, I didn't have my scale with me. So I didn't tweet my weight for five days. Uh, but I didn't also... did anybody in the crowd weigh you as you went over? They knew. They knew. <laughs> and, well, and... and we uh, need more, more men, more yeah, men. Yeah. And, uh, and, um, and I ate quite a bit. <laughs> I, as one would expect. As one might expect. So uh, I just want to point out that if you look at my my graph of the why things scale, I'm going to be very bluntly honest here. I okay. went when I left from 212 pounds oh. to oh. 218 pounds when I got back. I apparently gained six pounds in three days. Oh, my Four word. days. Whoa. Seems hard to believe. It does. I predict, this is what I mean by the fluctuations. It'll it, that's, that's ridiculous. You can't gain, you cannot gain 6.2 pounds in four days. It's not even if you ate barbecue constantly, which I did. Yes. <laughs> I know. I was just going to say. That's good. Isn't that what say. you did do? Oh, you know where we went last night? No, no, the night before. Sunday it night. seemed like every photo you sent from Austin was, <laughs> was eating. Bowl. It was a bowl. A bowl of, of food. Something. That's right. We went to and a restaurant. One thing you're, you're eating an entire pig. I'm thinking, oh, what is he? <laughs> that's where the uh, that's where the 18th pound came from. Yeah, I think so. This is ridiculous. The one thing that I really enjoyed, and there is one of these in New York. We went to a churrascaria, which is a Brazilian restaurant where they serve meat on swords. Have you been? Oh, to, there's one in New York. Fight. No, there's one in New York. It, the one we went to is a chain called Fogo de Chão. It's wonderful. They have a great salad bar, wonderful desserts, delicious breads. They try to get you to eat all this other stuff. Then they bring the meat. And what they have is at your place, they have a little coaster that is red on one side and green on the other. If you want more meat, you flip it to the green side. If you're, if you're, if you're digesting or you just kind of want to take a breather, you flip it to the red side. They don't bug you. But they constantly come around, all the guys with these meat on these swords, and they slice it off your little tongs at your table. And as they're what slicing... Kind of meat? Oh, Oh, it's so like like is every every sword have different meat? Different on it? meat, chicken, lamb, sausages, tenderloin. But the best one I'm told is the hump of the buffalo, <laughs> or something. Really, there's a fatty hump area <laughs> that apparently is quite good. I never knew when we were seeing it or not, but all I knew is it was good. It was whatever it was, it was good. 
And I wish I had turned it to red a little sooner, but as you wow, can see. Yeah. I mean, leg of lamb, yes. Hump of camel, no. <laughs> I'm putting the red side <laughs> up right now. Now you know why I'm at 218 pounds. Oh, uh, but I'll, I'll lose. I'm, I've been very strict today on my diet. both humps? Yeah, I ate two humps. <laughs> Dick, tomorrow I am going to actually have a gadget that was something that I used in Austin to do our live coverage of oh, South by Southwest. Oh, this should be good. Yeah, this will be fun. It's not something that you're going to run out and want. Um, you might, you know what? I think you should have this thing. We'll ship it out to you for your next 4th of July party on your boat. <laughs> okay, very good. So then you, we, can, we can, with you, peer through the buildings to see the fireworks. <sighs> nice. Yeah, that'll be exciting. We'll see you then. I'll be here. Not not the 4th of July. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Right. D-A-I-L-Y. It's the Daily Gizwiz. It's the Daily Gizwiz. It's the Daily Gizwiz. It makes its own gravy.